All right. A basic piece of equipment that we want to be comfortable using is the three-way stopcock. And there are multiple different versions of this. Um, this particular one uh, is such that wherever this component is pointing to is off. And that's kind of why it's written here. And essentially you have two, you know, this particular one, you have two areas where you can plug in syringes um, and then one male component here, which you can um, basically use to plug into something else. So here we can kind of turn, let's say we are going to be using this. We just want to be really, really mindful that we realize that when it's in this orientation and I push, it's going to come out here because this is off. But if I was to push it like this, I wouldn't actually be able to push again because it's off here and both of these are open. Um, the important thing is that we realize uh, that component because you know here we just have saline so it's no big deal however if we're doing something like preparing chemotherapy or something that's dangerous we don't want to be spilling things unnecessarily just because we don't understand kind of how this works now once you have something like this prepared um, you know before you kind of plug in your syringes you'll make sure to get out um, as much air as you can of the syringe itself but then also kind of when you plug in, what you can do is just kind of push and here we're you know off to this end here, but you can just kind of push here and just kind of flush, we go a little bit slower, uh, flush so that you aren't gonna introduce any air into your circuit and there you go. So now we've kind of done it where you can kind of go back and forth here um, with minimal air in the circuit and oftentimes it's not uncommon that we'll do something like this and uh, be using this three-way stopcock with this two syringe system here to kind of mix something back and forth um, and then what we can do is kind of hook this up to something else maybe to a line and then inject what our, our mixture um, and go from there. So that's kind of the basics of how to use the three-way stopcock. Um, and you just want to make sure that you realize that wherever this, for this particular brand, wherever this goes is off. But that may not be the case um, for other brands. So you always want to be sure that you're familiar with how your three-way stopcock works before you use it. Um, even though it's a simple thing, it can be commonly overlooked.